The two great rivals played each other six times last season. Sharp is in. I was going to say that Everton didn't win any of them. But there was a moment of encouragement for their supporters then. As Sharp stretched and Grobola just got there in time. Sharp has got seven goals in his last four league games. Wheeler. It's one for Bisley to set off after, and his arrival meant that Watson could take no extra chance. Barnes. That's Whelan. has reserved some of his very best moments for this competition spectacular goals in a couple of Wembley finals and not too far away in the Littlewoods Cup here tonight Liverpool averaging virtually three goals a game in the first division this season Lawrence and Bandon Howe has caught off the ball actually was responsible for a blow off the ball rather on Johnston retained possession Beardsley got it in and uh, Whelan is there Aldridge is there well now the linesman is flagging now it's an indirect free kick inside the penalty area Everton are wondering why they haven't got a penalty if there was an infringement. Well, the flag went up straight away. When the flag went up, I thought for sure it would be a free kick to Liverpool. But here we are with a chance for Everton to break through. Gary Stevens, and the player who blocked the shot was Ronnie Whelan. Wilson they were on their feet the Everton supporters there oh and here's Sharp my goodness Mark Lawrenson his heart must have been in his boots and Graham Sharp was taken by surprise Mark Nickel. He's got five Liverpool players involved in this attack as well, one of whom is Whelan. Plenty of yells from those wearing red and white on the terraces, hoping for a penalty. No movement from Vic Callow, the referee, except a point for a goal kick, and he looked absolutely right. Gary Gillespie, the scorer of Liverpool's winner at Luton last Saturday. They've spread the goals around the team so well. Aldridge! And Gillespie was homing in for the kill again, and he firmly believes he didn't get the last touch. We shall see, I think, for sure from this angle. But Southall left it, but left it to Aldridge. And that should have been a corner. Heath peeling off to try and make the pass possible for Sharp. And that's been one of the hardest techniques to display in this cauldron, really, of Anfield. Heath. Sharp's gone to the near post. On the edge of the area is Ian Wilson. Oh, and Barnes as he underhit it. He has it sharp this time. No! That 
that's even worse. John Barnes, just as Mark Lawrenson had done in the first half, played it without looking. Sharp read it very well, then was lucky to get the run of the ball against Grobla. And what should have been a simple side foot was a catastrophe for him and for Everton. And it's lucky Liverpool, that's for sure. Stevens down from Sharp. Stephen Heath. Trevor Stephen. And Grobola was almost up too soon. McMahon. sensibly was giving some distance between Hansen and himself. Hansen seemed to be in control. Stevens making Barnes do the defending and he's lost him. It's deflected. Goal! Gary Stevens. So maybe Graham Sharp can forget his miss now. Six minutes from the end. Stevens with a show of enterprise. My impression was that it flicked off a Liverpool heel. The evidence supporters in uproar. Gary Gillespie's touch diverted it in. Two minutes of injury time play. Southall only partially got there. Here's Hansen to the pump for Liverpool. Beardsley, McMahon, Everton have two players still on the line. And now rush out, Snowden and Stephen. Aldrich, Stevie Nicholl. That could be Liverpool's last throw. And indeed, Liverpool are beaten for the first time this season. Gary Stevens, six minutes from time.